Hey, what is up you guys? I'm Chelsea Briggs and this is Billboard Breakout. Joining me right now is Jumax. Yo, what's up? <laughs> how you doing? I'm good, how are you? With half your head braided. <laughs> you said you just, this, you interrupted yeah. braiding the rest of your hair to come to this interview. So thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go back and get it finished yeah, this side. This is my first time actually braiding it, so I'll just like seeing how it looks and stuff. Nice, do you like it? Yeah. You're excited it. about it? <laughs> well, you are from the Midwest, mm -hmm. from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how your music has been influenced by growing up in the Midwest. There's a whole like big rap scene in um, the Midwest. My music that I make now is like alternative like rock hip hop. You have such a dedicated following um, since you've been doing it. You haven't been doing it for that long of a time. Yeah. What do you think it is about your music that makes people just respond to it so well? I feel like I'm a voice for them basically because I don't really talk about like any like flex things or like holes or money mm -hmm. or stuff. I talk about like like emotional problems and like people, what people go through, you know, in the high school relationships. And just like, I feel like real life, um, just feelings. Well, and that's that's the thing, like your EP is called Loner. Yeah. So you're speaking to other people that feel, yeah. feel that way. You could be sad, cause baby I'm a loner, yeah. A lot of fans are just like, th thank you, like you guys, you, you know, you help me every day, like uh -huh. from the moment I wake up, I'm going to school and just like trying to survive and like I'm getting heartbroken and everything about that. So they like, I thank them and they thank me because we, we just like help each other. At first, I, I felt like it was kind of hard to talk about because I mean, opening up just to like, just serious stuff that I've been through in life. Yeah. I just do it to help other people, to help them cope with it and you know, like the struggles in, in their life. I know you just released your, la your EP yeah. in June, but do you have plans to release another album, you know, this year before 2020 or Yeah, what, I'm, I'm planning on I'm dropping another EP called Lover. The new EP is more about romantic and more like love songs. We're gonna do a thing called uh, Billboard Time Capsule, where basically I'm gonna ask you like questions about where you want to be in three years, and okay. then in three years we'll see how close you come. So in the next three years, who do you want to have gone on tour with? I feel like Youngblood would be cool. Ooh. Yeah. Who do you want to collab with? Uh, I mean, this would be hard, but JB, you know, like if I got the JB feet. Make it happen. I think he's making new music right now. Yeah, it would be hard, but I'll try. One dream venue you'd like to perform anywhere in the world? Oh, uh, maybe Coachella. That'd be cool. Uh, one thing career-wise you, you'd absolutely love to accomplish in the next three years? Mm, have a, like a successful like clothing brand. Do you have plans of launching yeah, one soon? I'm into making of like making custom like clothing. I'm just like a lot of zippers, studs, just really, really artistic. Like colorful? Yeah, like kind of punkish vibe. Uh, and then what would your message to yourself be? Um, just like always stay positive and just like um, stay happy and um, be grateful. Yeah. I like that. Stay grounded. Yeah. You got this. Awesome. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much for thank hanging you. out with us. We'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> and thanks for watching. <laughs>